Hey guys, I wanted to share a little secret with you uh, because I think not a whole lot of people are talking about it. And I was reading an article today about how the feminist, pro-feminist pro people like went crazy because there was like this picture of this tennis star person, whatever, there was a poster like 30 years ago with her butt cheek showing and there was this big outrage and I just looked at that whole mess of what was going on and that's just one incident and I wanted to tell you guys that in this crazy state of affairs that we're in right now where women just seem like an angry mob of people who are just trying to tell you that we don't need you, it's a big fat fucking lie because women really need you. The truth is that women need you now more than ever and you are enough. You're not missing anything. You don't need anything from anybody. You already have it in you. It's just that nobody's reminded you that you already have it. So I just wanted to share this quick message. I know I'm already at like the two minute mark and I hope you guys are having a good day. Chick chat, bent chicks, chick chat with the bent chicks with the chick chick chicky chat, the bent chicks with the chick chick chicky chat with the bent chicks with the chick chick chicky chat, the bent chicks with the chick chick chicky chat, him golden with the chick chick chicky chat, Nikki Taylor y'all, Nikki chick chick chicky chat, got Lexi with the chick chick chicky chat with the bent chicks with the chick chick chicky chat. Bent chicks. Chick chat. With the chick chat. Bent chicks. Bent chicks. Chick chat. Random radio discussion show. That that sounds interesting, doesn't it? You would think that we would have the random radio music. Don't worry. I'll bring it in a few. This is the discussion show. We are back. I could not leave you people without information. That would be foolish of me. I'm so smart. I have to give it to people. Today, it's a special show. We are back, and it is holiday season, and a reason for women to need men. So, <laughs> we have some guests in here today, but before we get to that, let me tell you about some, uh, some things that you guys should go and check out. Check out all of the YouTube uh, shows. Check out Chick Chat with the Big Chicks. They are... We are probably going to end up having... Did that show get retired? Don't know. All right. Don't say that. Uh, so make sure you guys check out the Random Radio video show. It's coming up in 2019. It's going to be brand new for you. Uh, make sure that you guys check out the Random Radio podcast show, which is up every Sunday, every week, consistently, every week, Rain or Shine, no matter if I'm sick, no matter if I'm dead. I've been dead. I've been dead at least for five weeks, and I still did shows. That is how dedicated I am to it. I passed away on your asses. You didn't even know it. Still did shows. Look at that. So make sure that you guys check out the Random Radio podcast show, playing all the best of the underground, the underground sound, Random Radio. This is the brand new Random Discussion show. We are back. So this is episode 54. I told you guys in the episode I was done, but I got too much to say. This week... We have women. We have yes. Nikki Taylor from the Chick Chat. She's here. Hello. Hi, everybody. Uh, we also have, what would you like to be called? Kara. Okay, we have Kara. Hey, Kara. Welcome, baby. Thank you. Kara is going to try to act coy. Don't worry about Ooh, bitch, he called you coy. Yeah. All right, so this week's episode, because we've, we've already been drinking, we've already had some drinks, so this is that's, that's why we had the Ben Chicks beginning. So this week's episode is about shut up, Don't women be trying to women and why women need men more than ever now, more than ever, women need men. You know, you know, you know, you know these things that I talk about on the show. I've, I've proven them many times before on the women's episode. That there have been feminists who have been out here 
telling women that they don't need men there's a patriarchy there are things going on and women have been following this trend of thinking that it is okay to be disrespectful to men not respect now, men not need now men now you tripping and so disrespectful we now have Seriously? two we now have two African American women in here today who are going it's to, okay to be share with me we're going You're to share with me disrespectful who are going you to you are disrespectful who are going to try I, I guess I guess we're going to have a discussion about why women need men because women do need men these two women need men so if you're interested feel free they need men all right so uh, Nikki Taylor welcome to the new random discussion show it's brand new we are brand spanking new slapping people in the face with newness so <laughs> Women need men. Yeah, I agree. Why do you agree that women need men? What do you think women need from men? Okay, because it's all about balance, okay? Balance. Masculine, feminine. The one needs the other. Neither can circumvent, okay? That's how it works. What do you think women are not getting from men right now? Which is make because there are a lot of single women, black, white, Asian, Mexican, especially American women. Let me just state that American women of any race are very, very single today. They, they, they can't find men. They have a lot of issues with men. They're finding men on the Internet or okay. we're not finding men on the Internet. Right. What do you think women need from men today? You am I ask, Are you asking me this question? Or yeah. Are you like, am I supposed to answer for the majority? Of women? I mean, you you can answer however you would like to answer. This is a subjective question. Women like subjective questions, so I'm giving you one. That's okay. That's that's a fact. So, but we'll get to you in a moment. What's the question again? This, what do you think that women need from men today? Honesty. Honesty. Yeah. Can women handle honesty? I can handle honesty, motherfucker. Okay. If we've been friends, and I well, know you, if you so, know me. There's, there's a variable. Nigga, See, you've already applied a you variable. You can tell me. You've already applied a variable. Like. Look, look at that. It's already a variable. <laughs> if we're friends, no. You said you wanted honesty. So if there, if, if you want honesty, there is no variable. When the man comes in, you want honesty, right? Yeah. There it is. Yeah. So you want to know that he has the AIDS when he first, when you... You, you got out. that motherfucking right. Like, I'm glad you reached in your pocket and pulled that out. You want to know? Because, yes. Yeah, that would be some good I want to know if you got the AIDS. I just went to the extreme. Yeah. yeah. That's it. You also want to know what his, what, his, what his credit is. Yes. Why do you need to know that? Why did, can he ask, what you, will you give him the same honesty that he's asking from you? Yeah. How can that be when women typically lie a lot? <laughs> well, but you can't talk to me about what I don't know. What I'm saying is, they, I, I mean, I mean, you are a very shit. manipulative. Part I'm of a grown ass woman, okay? So I'm not finna lie to you about shit. I understand. Period. Point blank. Bottom line. If you don't want to pick up what I'm putting down, oh fucking well. Shit. Got to it. each his own. <laughs> got it. Got it. <laughs> Let's make sure we remember that. Nikki Taylor does not lie, everybody. This is going to be helpful later on when we find out that she lies. So, Kara. You are an asshole, and yeah. that's okay. Yeah. Because I'm going to love you anyway. Right, well, that's fine. But you're so, an asshole. So, so I'm just Kara, saying. Kara is new to the whole random radio <laughs> process. She's brand new. So, this is like... I, so, if there's anybody from Me Too, I guess I'm going to get in trouble because we're popping her cherry. Did we get your consent? Do we have your consent to pop your chair? Because we need that before sure. we go. Oh, great. She gave us a sure. No, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry. The feminists are going to need for you to say, yes, I agree for you to pop my chair. They're going to need for that. Otherwise, you could be saying sure to anything. Yes, you can pop my chair. There we go. We So there you go. So, so Kara... Let me ask you some the same question, pretty much, because you seem like you had a lot that you wanted to say. So, same question. If you could do me a favor, make sure you talk into the side of the microphone. That is where we get your voice the best. So, um, 
Yeah, you can look that way too. That's fine. So, do you ever? Do you, would you like to face the American flag? <laughs> what? No, I'm good. Uh, we're just letting everybody know we're making America great again. Why is it there? It's right over my bed. Why? Because I want all the ladies to know we are fucking in America. Anyway, so. <laughs> We're fucking in America. We're fucking in America. All that shit. Either way, how, either way however the way it goes. So either way. So fucking. Happy. Either way, I the, the question I'm Kara. So Kara, do you think that women need men? Yes. Why do you think women need men? Because we need each other. So men also need women. I do think so. Okay, so what do you That's think? That's not the same shit I just said. I was. I haven't got oh, to the okay. next question. What do you think women need from men? Because there seems to be a lot of women who are single. Kara, are you single? You don't have to answer that. So there are a lot of that's women. That's a true who, question, bitch. There are a lot. Of, there are a lot of. That's fine. Don't Welcome answer. to the jungle. Don't answer. Don't Wait. answer. Don't answer. That? So I don't know how to answer that. Wait. So. Um, but I'm not. Wait a minute! Don't answer that. We don't. We don't want to get anybody in any trouble. Like I'm the guy listening, his feelings might get hurt. Hell. His feelings might okay. get hurt. Well, we live with a lot she of. She ain't know how to answer. It, well, though. here's the I'm problem. We live, there are a lot of beta men, <laughs> and there are a lot of beta men who will be like, "Oh, I thought he was something different." You know, they listen to Versus Drake. Versus alpha men. Well, they listen to Drake. So there are a lot of Drake influences on a lot of men today, and it's really ridiculous. So the men who aren't alpha men are beta men. Excuse me? Yes. The men who aren't alpha men are beta men. Are they telling you they're alpha men? I'm asking you. No, no, no. If you're a beta, you know a beta. You're a woman. You know a beta. So you're an alpha? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, see, you already knew that. No, I was asking. No, you knew that. Next question. <laughs> That's why you asked that question versus are you a beta? Because you already knew it. You know, and you knew the right terminology to use because you recognized that I was a man. So either way, so bottom line. So let me ask you this. What do you think women need from men? Because a lot of women are single. They can't find men. They're having a problem with men. We find men Who's just fine. I'm they're asking having Kara. trouble finding okay. men or that there's a problem finding a man. I hear that often, that women are having a problem finding men. No, it's plenty of you. It's just not enough good ones. Right. Okay, so what do you think women need from men? What do they need from men, Kara? I don't know. I don't want... I don't need much. I don't know how to answer that. You don't, you don't you don't know she what, what, the what, fifth. what is it she that played the oh. fifth degree well then so so then in your relationship let me ask you this in your excuse me in your relationship that you're in now because you must be in one that's good because you don't need anything so in the relationship that you're in now what has that man given you that other women probably that, that they're not getting what do you, what do you appreciate the most about the man that you're with now his attention his attention if he stopped giving you attention, you would stop being interested in him? Um, probably oh, not. That's a good damn. question. Damn. So then that's what so then that's not the most important thing. I didn't say that, you know, oh. did you ask that? You so asked what, what me something that I liked. Right, right, right. I did ask you that. What what else do you like? Um I like that he listens to me. That's more attention. Okay. What I like else? Attention. What else? <laughs> I'm a Leo. What else do you like about him? Um that he cares for me. That he cares for Are you. Are you writing stuff down? Let me ask you this. Notes? Let me ask you this. Do you, do you, the attention that you receive, do you reciprocate that same attention to him? Mm-hmm. I think I do. All right, what is he interested in? Everything. No, no, I'm, I'm asking interested her. in. <laughs> what, are, what is he interested in? <laughs> Everything I'm interested in. Next question. Next question. No. What is he interested in on his own? Yeah. He's into like wellness and music. That's that's what he's interested. Those What's his, his what, Who's his favorite artist? So, that's a good question. Next question. <laughs> you don't know who his favorite artist is? I don't. Does he know who your favorite artist is? No. No trivial things like that. Okay, is, is that it's not, not a requirement to be my friend? But but so is it trivial? Is if he likes music, that's trivial to you? 
No, it is a good question. I'm gonna ask him that tomorrow at Thanksgiving dinner. How long have you been with this person? Uh, <laughs> like six, six I years. I can't. Listen, you've been with. Stop talking about. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to. We're trying to ask. I'm, 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 she's, she's telling the world things that are very important that people need to hear because they need to understand how to make a good relationship work. So, how you said you've been with him? How long? Six years. Six years, and you don't know who his favorite music artist, but he's into music. I know he's got a lot of favorites. And the best thing that you like about him is that he gives you attention and he listens to you. That's what I like. Do you find any of that selfish? Do you think that it's all about you and the relationship? No. Okay. You don't think it's about you, yet your explanations for why you like this man are all things that are about you. Yeah. That's fine. Oh. Interesting. That's a, that's a contradiction. Is this therapy? It's not therapy. I it's mean, called the Random Discussion <laughs> Show. Did okay. you not know that? Yeah. I got it. All right, cool. Awesome. So. But Nikki. I think that you should be in a relationship with someone and you should know why you relate with them. That's true. Why do you relate with him? Because, because you all like you? Because I what? Because you all like you? No. I, you asked me also if I do things to reciprocate and I do. So who is his? So what else is he interested in? Yeah, that was a hard question before. So um, <laughs> is the thing that you all have in common is that you all like you? Do you like you? You like you, right? I love me. Oh, so does he like you too? Obviously. He loves me. Oh, so is the thing that you all have in common is that you all like you? No, I love him. Oh, but you all we need each other. So you all admire you. The both of you admire you more. How did this turn into me being well, a narcissist? Don't worry about it. We'll, 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 we'll get back to you. Ponder that for a moment. Nikki Taylor. So let me ask you a question. You ponder that for a moment. Nikki Taylor, let me give, let me ask you a question. And she sips. Let me ask you a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me ask you a question. So. With your little funky ass notepad. I do have a notepad. Thank it's funky. Yeah, it's, it's tight. <laughs> yeah, it's funky. It's giving you too much motherfucker confidence. Okay. I need for you to turn he that shit. He got another nail note down. He just wrote on top of the number one again. There you go. Those are people who fake note in there meetings. You, you, you can have a notepad too so that you can fake write notes too. Oh, all right. So great. So either way, so Nikki Taylor, back to you. So Nikki Taylor, let me ask you a question. Are you in currently in I got you. Are you currently in a relationship right now? Um oh my no. God. Okay. Nikki Taylor, why do you think that you are why, what, what are the men not doing to trap yourself? What do you think they're not doing? Nothing. They're not doing anything. Oh, you, they need you, to level up all of them. What what they're what lacking. when you say level up, what do they need to do <laughs> that they're not doing? What what would you what would be a good leveling up for them? <coughs> Especially for the men who are who are trying to come at you. <laughs> <laughs> they just need to get, get their life to motherfucking together. What is Here we so, so let me ask you this. Where are you meeting these men? Are you meeting these men like at the library? Are you meeting them at Bible uh, no, study? Where are you I meeting don't them? I meet them no motherfucking way. So you're not meeting men at all? Not for real. So you're going through the day and not seeing any qualifying men to date? Yes, basically. And Is so the right? men that Is there something that wrong with I, that? Is there right? something wrong yes, with waking no up, washing your I ass, work. going to work, coming back home? I work at the four high school. So let me ask you this. How long have you not been seeing men? How long has that been a, a, an epidemic for you? You know, you got some good questions. No, I That's have a good question. men that I see. Okay, mm -hmm. now wait. Ooh. When do you see? When is the last time that you okay. saw a man who was of qualifying status to be with you? Yesterday. <laughs> Great. That's awesome. Why? Why? I mean, do you and that man have a date? Let me coordinate. <laughs> Hold on. Do you and that? <laughs> oh my god. You okay. <laughs> oh my god. You need some water. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. We'll be back after these commercial breaks. No, no, we don't take a commercial break. So. <laughs> you said a death. 
<laughs> they get the raw. So here it is. So let me ask you this. So with the man that you met yesterday, I didn't meet him just yesterday, nigga. Oh, so you seen you seen I him cannot. many times. You've seen him many times. I the man with many dates. You've seen him many times. I cannot do that. You've seen him many times. Your point, sir. So what I'm asking is, is why haven't you? Why haven't you? Why haven't you, why haven't really you and this man? Why haven't you and this man started a relationship? What is it that he's lacking that you can't get into a relationship with him? Because I'm not. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. The people Cause can't. I don't want it. Why don't you want a re- Why don't you want a relationship with this man? Women need men. You've already admitted that women need men, so you need a man. Why don't you have one? <laughs> because it's like I don't really want to do that. <laughs> is there is there some type of a goal that you are trying to reach that a man would be in the way of right at this moment in time? Um, probably like I don't know. Okay, I'm just not interested. Is it that you really don't want this man? Mm-hmm. That's what it is. So you really don't <laughs> want him. What is it? What is it about him that you don't like that 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 you don't want? What is it about him that you don't want? Any of it. I just don't want. What do you mean? I, I'm what living my what life. don't you want to it's deal all with? Good. We, we can't hear you. The, the microphone is far away. <clears throat> I'm living my life. Ooh. It's all good. We can be friends. Like, it's just like. Let me ask you this Does he want to be with you? I don't know. Well, wait a minute. You can pick up on it. You're a woman. You have women's intuition. You can pick up on some things. You know. So you, you, you does, is he interested in you? Does you do you think he wants to be with you? No, not. Well, what do you think? Yes or no? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. I really don't know. No, no, no. Not any, I don't know. Let's be concrete. Right now, I want you to make a decision. Do you think that yes, he does want to be with you? No, he doesn't want to be with you. Okay. Do you think that he wants to have sexual relations with you? So you don't know anything about this man. You clearly just you just don't know anything. But he is what a man. What man are we talking? About? The man that you said that you saw yesterday. Which man? You said the you man saw, I saw ye- yesterday. I asked you earlier. I, don't know I what said. I said, is there a man that you're interested in? Help you said me. yes. You said you Help saw me. him yesterday. You got me out here. Help me. What is he talking? about? The man I saw yesterday. Yes, you said yeah. you saw a man yesterday. You said you saw many men, but you said you saw a man yesterday that you're interested in. No, I'm not. This whole interview in is him. brought to you by Ben Chicks. You're not interested in him, but you saw him yesterday. Mm-hmm. But you're not interested in him. Mm-hmm. So what do you need okay. from a woman? So we're going to go back to Kara. What do you need Kara's from a woman? having a more cohesive conversation than, 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 than. Now my conversation is not going to be Wait, 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 wait until you hear this episode. You'll be able to hear how my non-coherent My conversation, conversation is not cohesive. Was. Yeah, you'll be able to hear that. You'll be able to hear that. Don't, don't, don't worry. Anyway, Kara, so back to you. You asked a very good question. Go ahead. I'm going to let you get that question in because that was a good question. Go ahead okay. and ask the question. I asked you, what do you need from a woman? What do I need from and a woman? You. Man, that is a great question. And I have an awesome answer. As a, so let me let me let me let me tell people right now. I am wearing because you're not gonna be able to see me. I'm wearing my MAGA hat. Okay, I am fully. I wish I had a Donald Trump shirt, and I wish I had a Donald Trump jacket so I could wear it and show people <laughs> how much I love DT45. Okay, so let's let's start there before I get to this answer. Now, my answer: What I need from a woman? What I need from a woman is I need for a woman to act. And portray herself in a dignified way at all times. I also need for a oh, woman shit. to be very <laughs> traditional. Very traditional. We, we do not believe in this idea <laughs> of wearing your baker's hat out in the streets. We do not believe. Oh, the, those little bonnets that the little heathen <laughs> nig jigs wear <laughs> all the time. We don't believe in any <laughs> of that. The heathen nig jigs. <laughs> that's what they are. So we don't, we don't do that. So the... We also believe that the woman should be. She can't uh, wear a bonnet in the house. I said outside in the streets. I'm asking you, can she wear one in the house? I would prefer that she doesn't. 
<laughs> but I understand. I mean, I do understand that the house I will prefer is that she her. Visit, but I understand. I understand. It's, it's a comfort, <laughs> so it's, it's the place that she lives, so she's gonna be comfortable, and that may be something that I may have to see. Okay. So I'm okay with that. I understand that. But just not out in the streets, because that is an undignified way to look. That is an un. When was the last time you dated somebody? Oh. I'm, I'm dating Yesterday. someone right now. Oh, how's that going? It's going great. Right. She is a So great she's in a box person. too? She's in a box? Yeah. What do you mean in the box? You listed the requirements for her to be with you. It sounds mm-hmm. like it was like being a fucking box. That's okay. You can you can feel that subjective way about that. That is fine by me. But what she so she's is, in a box too. What she is doing is, in a box. is she is <laughs> making a relationship work. With Learning a, how to be flexible in a box. She is making <laughs> a relationship work with a man who has more to offer than the other men out here. And one of the things that women okay, all what puts you against the rest because oh, you just put yourself in awesome this question. fucking elite that's, that's, category that's such a beautiful question <laughs> i am not question. about <laughs> listen well. listen right motherfucking now I'm so we about so to... so <laughs> i mean where do we start no, no, where do we no, start so this fucking discussion amazing. make no. america great again so where hashtag no, man, your man, face where do we come start on. this discussion how we gonna make this great something, where, where do we start this discussion i mean i mean where do we start this that could it be the fact that I have no children. Could it be the fact now, that see, I have Now see, right no, there with that oh, fucking basic point. Really? The basic point? <laughs> children basic don't point. mean anything yeah, on yeah, a negative tip. So unfortunately, yeah, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, what you may not believe, but it is true, the majority of African-American women are in situations where they are, as a matter of fact, 76% of African-American children are in nah, nah, single- You pr- dropping numbers. What's your fucking source? You, the CDC. Ever okay, heard of pull them? that shit up. I'm petty. Pull it up. This, pull this, this is not a myth. Yeah, this is not a myth. That's so either way, we'll, we'll, we'll pull it up. No, no, no. Do it now. Type no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm actually doing a show. Okay. You will wait to receive that information. You can look it up on Google yourself. Y'all look it You're up right now. You're not doing anything right CDC now. You're just sitting there with a mic in your hand. I am actually making a point answering your question. So you will let me answer my question, woman, and I will, Ooh, I will tell you. Call me woman in yes. a box. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you, because you know you know what you're doing just, right now. Just do real you good are to you win. are exhibiting Proverbs nine thirteen. You need Ooh, to let me. He hit me with scripture. I did hit you with scripture. Thou shalt shut up the fucketh up. That is not. It's the people scripture. like you That's that keep scripture. women in prison, imprisoned mm. emotionally. So the man that you're with, and who, so, so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. The man that you you're, you, you just this. put your whole mm-hmm. girl in a box. Tell you're me right. how she's not in a box. You're right. You're right. Tell me how she's out. You're gone. right. Because she's doing whatever she would like to do. Which is what? She is living her life. Like it's golden? Tell me some facts. She's living her life. She's doing all the things that she wants to do with her life. Such as. And she has a good, a person around. Insert adjective. Who is, who, who is actually living, who's doing good by them. Oh, no. I'm not cutting it. I'm mm-hmm. saying how. I'm you telling you. I was going me. into I'm it and then okay. we went to a whole Insert different thing. Insert scene one, go. So let me ask you this. So because th- th- there's a lot of I want to get to know your friend. You said she does some, some great stuff. Like what? I she, need she y'all is, both. She's is working. Is she into politics? She is not what into she, politics. What's she into? That's not, that's not her thing. Adjectives. What do you mean? What does she do? She is working her As job. As a... Oh, she's a nurse. Yes. Oh, yes. that's nice. Yes. So either way, the so bottom... She's a kid. So the bottom line is this. So the man that so so let me ask you this because you had a lot of questions for me and I and no, I answered them. Yeah, no, 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 no. And, and you I answered barely them. answered that. I did answer them. So the question I have for you is: is since you are in such a great relationship and the you're outside of the box, if you're outside of the box, one-sided. let me ask you this: what who what's your man's favorite music artist? Did you figure it out yet? In that time that we were gone. Oh, you still don't know because it's all about you. You see what happens when you're outside of the box, people? It's never about the other person, simply about you. What has been proven today is that traditional relationships work because I understand that what the young lady is what I'm with. I understand what she likes, I understand what she dislikes. We understand all the things about each other because we. Well, you don't even understand. You don't even know your guy. So know him first, and then we'll talk about my chick. Hey, this is Random Radio, the discussion show. Brand new, so make sure that you guys check out some of these sponsors that we got coming up next. We got some music from none other than my favorite artist, 
well, he's my favorite now because I like the last album he put out. Filth Cat, this is um, humble. That's what I'm going to try to be now. It's more humble because apparently in order to be with some of these women, these free-thinking women, you must love them and love them only. So make sure that you guys are going to check out all the content that we have on YouTube. Please go check out the Random Radio Podcast Show up every Sunday. Red, check out Chick Chat. Is it still here? Is it still gone? Is it here? I don't know. Make sure you guys check out the Random Radio Video Show. Thank you for the microphone, Kara. That was great. Put it down. That's what you do when you, you know, that's what happens. So, <laughs> sure. you guys check out the Red Discussion Show. We are back every Wednesday doing this again. Check out some Filth Cat. This is Humble. Uh, shout out to Twist and White Peace. Shout out to everybody. We are back. We're going to have more discussion. Carol, will you come back on the show? Hell no. You didn't have a good time? No. No? Nikki Taylor, did you I have a good time? Boxed in. You have a good time? Yes. You felt boxed in? I felt boxed in. But we should bring you back so that you won't feel so boxed in. I'm quite sure. Next time you'll be able to, I won't. I, well, you know. You know, you know, I expect that from you, though, to, to, that you felt boxed in because there wasn't a lot of attention on you. You, you proved to us that you, that you like attention on you. Enjoy some humble. I'll see you guys next week. Random discussion show. Random radio. <laughs> This nigga ever. Go cat. Controversial nigga talking about this shit. Filth cat. I'ma be, I'm I'ma try to be humble and modest on this one though. Let's see. It's so hard to be humble with all of these hoes up on my dick. Fuck bumble. I run this shit, you learning to walk, you gon' stumble We animals, ain't no gods in the jungle Sit back with zigzags, trying to focus Figure out why a nigga still on this Rap shit is whack shit and it seems so hopeless Been unknown for so long, thought no one would notice Lost all my old buddies soon as R.R.P. started Rory died and his loss was the hardest And Twizz and White Piece is my only competition We the only ones out here that's really doing something different I'm a sick nigga, the filthy is cat to spit raps and i want to thank all of y'all for putting random radio up on the map hey. niggas was hating at first but i get the skepticism why fuck with my podcast when you can fuck with pessimism yeah. it makes sense to go against the greatest if y'all was around y'all fucking clowns and it probably would have been ain't shit past 30 still rapping dirty here niggas spitting wax so beef i'm urging here women wax spitting get the fuck up in the kitchen make me some muffins or roast or something pound me too if you need some attention the cure for any issue is some good dickens niggas in dresses and blouses need eye gouges and i'm smiling not frowning looking at y'all astounding be good i see you my homie he off the meter rick the scale bitch it feel like that show fear never had beef with so many homos can you see them who believe them they out they body eating fake them but these faggots really want some fucking semen they don't want it with filth cause it's killing season Ah, it's so hard to be humble So many dudes lacking on they fucking hustle I kill these syllables equipped with daily lyricals You think a nigga spiritual, the king of rap, so imperial And I ain't faking though, who are Jason? Nobody can keep pace or close Some of my favorite quotes are mostly about fucking black naked hoes And I boast about cheese, I boast about me Talk without guilt, so much about filth Love myself like I love my wealth Hoes help me clean my dick with they spit after I drug my help No Bill Cosby, hoes feel thoughty, get sloppy, get naughty No Rick Ross, see that's a fake Nigga, watch for the snakes, shit for goodness sakes What it look like when I pull up in the place It must look good to see my fucking face Yeah, It's so hard to be humble Y'all RG3, you finna fumble
trying. My best. Really trying. Trying to figure out this whole humble thing that you guys talk about so much. But it's really hard. Yeah. Well, I really yeah. 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 Ye